The art of gardening is rarely, if ever, a black or white issue. So why on earth would you want a garden that's black or white? Gardens are typically bursting with color, but get this. You can actually pack a whole of exuberance into a garden based on just one color. I love designing monochromatic gardens. They're dramatic, they're interesting, and hey, even though it's the same color, they don't have to be boring because you can get variation in the foliage, you can get variation in the stems, you can even get variation in the flowers. Take red for example. The related colors can skew from pale purples to saturated yellows and just about everything in between. Suddenly, the red we might have envisioned goes way beyond expectations. Some people call a white garden a moon garden. What I like about it is, at night or in a shady area, the white really comes to life. Now, what I've got here is a white iberis or a candy tuff, and I'm going to infuse it with a little gray. This is Power Castle Artemisia, and you can see the two together, really a dramatic effect. A pale blue fountain, gray pavers, variegated gardenias, azaleas, and flowers are extensions of the white palette. Who says a monochromatic garden needs to be boring? Take a look at it, it's unbelievable. Now add a bistro table and two chairs, an Adirondack chair, some garden ornamentation, and it's incredible. I've always said, design is in the details.